Hi, and welcome again with Umbraco Tutorials. Uh, today we are doing part 13. As I mentioned in the previous video, uh, I'm going to continue on uh, doing more about Umbraco forums. Uh, today we'll do something interesting, more interesting, let's say. Uh, we'll create our own forum and we'll see how it's work uh, with conditions and on, we can do multi pages. Uh, let's try, do it together. So let's close this PowerPoint. So uh, here we are, our website. So what we can do if you go to our uh, back office, uh, we'll go to the forums. So we'll create small forum and we try to make it more complicated and with more stuff inside it. So let's try to create a new forum here. Let's choose now empty forum. So we'll give it name. Uh, uh, let's call it uh, uh, my forum uh, data, I suppose anything or yeah, let's call it like anything. So this is the generated stuff. I will delete this uh, this one. I don't need it. So inside this one, let's suppose I need to add a full name. So the full name I can give. Uh, detail for it. I can say here again, say full name uh, personal full name. So I'll choose the data type, which one I will, I'll choose the short answer. I don't need more than that. Um, let's say we can say it's mandatory if you want, but it's not that important. And after that. I want to add something, I will, um, let's, let's say, I will give the user ability to add his uh, personal data, let's say, uh, mobile number or address or something like that. So let's say here, uh, uh, personal data. So this personal data would be, let's suppose, email and his, uh, uh, yeah, email and phone, let's say, personal email it will be short I will leave it like this so I don't need to change anything and I want to add personal uh, phone I will say same so let's save it and I want to add it where in the same page but let's call it my uh, forum data I will go to add it in the contact page, our favorite page. So we'll add this one as we saw last in the previous video how to add it. Just add it as a macro. So I choose here insert forum with theme. So I have here uh, many forums. So I choose my. I choose my. Uh, theme and just submit it and publish it so after saving and publishing I can go to the front but it's, at the same time it's beyond it's can render it in the in the RTE save you can you can see it here so if I back to my uh, front if I refresh my page I should see something here at the bottom so this here it's rendered already they show you the name and the with everything with it so if we see this one after uh, refreshing this one let's go which one we have uh, yeah that's it so we have add we can say the name and we can say any email and we can say phone and we can say uh, this one should be number submitted this very simple one we have created and it's working fine so if I back to my forums my data forum if I choose the to see, to see where it's my data is submitted so under entries I can see my data here so now let's make it more complicated or 
let's add more stuff so let's suppose the user he don't want to add uh, this any any one of this let's suppose this personal data uh, we'll give him ability to say I want to add or I don't want to add it uh, just example nothing more than that so let's say add the question let's call it my uh, personal data so here we'll say to him he can add or no so let's add something you can say uh, or let's use multi uh, choices so let's say here uh, add let's suppose my email and I can say my phone I can say add to that's it here and let's reorder it let's say this one it will go the top here let's save it so now we'll add a condition we'll say if the user tick on this one display this one if we tick on the phone display the phone but they should be at the beginning all of them hidden so how to do this one we need to add something called conditions so we go to the personal email to the button here we enable the conditions we we'll choose here show they say to you you need to show it if any if all or any one of these conditions is true so if you said show all show if if the personal data is email we choose the email so if the personal data email is checked show the email let's submit this one i'll show you that with a second one more time so the the personal phone so in the conditions so we should show if anyone any one of this condition is true uh, so personal data is phone or equal to phone let's submit this one now if we go to the front and we refresh the page there we should see that we should be this two fields it should be hidden there so if you back there now so they are hidden already and they will see this two giant uh, checkbox so if you write uh, any name and if you now I, I can't see any email I can't see anything I can submit without them but if the user he won't add his email say add my email so it will be displayed here if he won't add his phone he can press again on this one it will be displayed so this one it just as example it's not that uh, hard thing just I'm showing you as example uh, let's say add the email and the phone number okay and you can submit it so the second scenario I'm thinking for what we can do so uh, maybe he want add uh, address so let's add a new group we call this one address group so in the address normally we'll have something called it uh, house number I can say let's leave it like this should be number but I want to leave it like this now so add the other one can add read it should be short too and we can add so here we can add countries so how we can pick the country let's call it country Right. okay uh, so country I don't want the user to write by himself let's make it a uh, drop-down uh, list he can choose one of the countries we have provide so let's suppose first uh, we can add USA we can add uh, UK we can add the uh, UAE we can add yeah that's I think enough that's for testing submit so if you submit this one now let's back to our front refresh this page and we should see one more group call it the about a call it the address group so if you back there so that's it address group so in the address group I can add my address I can't I can submit that too so uh, but look this ugly a bit and a lot of stuff in uh, in same page so what 
we, maybe we can do this on more uh, one more step or wizard if I enable everything look it will be a lot of stuff in one page we can do this one in different page it will be wizard we press next will take you to the address the group address here or the address group so let's back how to do that here uh, so here we can add something called add a new page this page we can call it here address page and I don't want to add again everything I can just reorder everything I think I can move this one all no we can uh, yeah we can move everything here yeah nice so I want to take this one I put it in the in this page you can do it no one more time I don't know it's maybe it's not possible but let's try it mm, yeah yeah that's it it's a bit tricky so rather than I re-add them again or re-add all the group just I drag and drop to reorder it so now if I back to my page if I refresh everything here it should be everything sits hidden here and show you next button that's it here so if I back here again I can write the name they showing everything here this name I can say I need email I need phone number here too okay I can now see here it's next it's not submit so if I press on next I should see new page it says about the address page here you can uh, write your uh, house number you can write the street and you can choose the country from the provided list you don't need to uh, write the country name and you can submit it uh, this is very easy and I just show you what's mean Ambraco forum if you create your own forum and how to customize it and how to try to add more than one page or create your wizard uh, in the next video uh, I'm planning to show you how to uh, uh, use Ambraco uh, uh, forums workflow how to uh, do that workflow or how to uh, to store and publish your data you will understand that in, in the next video I'll try to create something um, could be nice and easy for adding the shifts so rather than we add the shifts from here we can give the ability to be added from the front let's say the shift is can provide us his data it will be it will come to the back office and just we uh, we can get check, small check and publish it. We don't need to add anything by ourselves. We'll see that in the next video. See you in the next video and bye bye.